Welcome to the Micronic booth here at SMT AI. Uh, delighted to be joined by Jay Gauthier. Nice to see you again, Jay. Good to see you too, sir. How are things going? Going very well, very Fantastic. well. And uh, this has been an exciting show. And uh, let's, I just want to sort of catch up to see what the new developments are here at Micronic. Uh, well, we've got some uh, exciting things. This has been a tremendous show for us. We've had a tremendous year from a growth standpoint mm -hmm. on all the product lines. And I think when you look at it, uh, the jet printer now has really become mainstream. Uh, that's one of the items that we're highlighting here. Our, uh, uh, and place machines. Mm -hmm. We introduced the Trilogy line a little bit earlier, which gives 100,000 components an hour while maintaining uh, a lot of flexibility. So it's given the best of both worlds to a lot of our, our customers. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're gaining a lot of new customers from that particular one. Mm -hmm. uh, the same thing with the AOI and the SPI. Uh, we made a lot of uh, headway in those particular areas with those two. Mm -hmm. uh, we're making them easier to program in some of the software that we have from a development standpoint. Mm -hmm. So that's really helping people out. Um, the SMD towers for our smart storage yep. and all the software to be able to incorporate all that and really the drive towards industry 4.0, which everybody's trying to get to. Right. Uh, we've actually have Micronic 4.0 is what it is. <laughs> so it's been exciting, it really has. Yeah, definitely an exciting time and a lot of new innovations coming into the, the industry. We're going to look at the automatic programming in a moment, but uh, first of all, we're standing in behind the My 700 JX. Uh, what does the JX stand for? So the JX is a, a kind of hybrid machine where you can actually do solder paste and adhesives and also a po silver epoxies and a number of different materials that you can have. Um, so that gives you the best of both worlds to be able to print solder paste and a number of alternative fluids on the same machine at the same time. So this, this machine behind us has got two, two gantries. So uh, I'm guessing it's, it's just a very easy clip on process with uh, these different heads that you have here. Absolutely, so with the, um, this is the third generation of the machine, so we had the 500, the 600, the 700. Each and every generation has got a lot faster in this particular machine where we actually have two heads on here, you can actually have two cartridges of solder paste, one doing the small dot all the way up to the large dot um, to be able to do the entire range of components on the board itself. Um, so this machine will keep up with the line running real time about 50,000 components an hour. Now at the same time with the JX, if you wanted to be running some with solder paste on one and adhesive on the other, we give you the capability to do that too. So I see this is a different type of um, dispensing head here. What's this one? Yeah, this is the applicator to be able to do that. So this would actually hold right on the, the, the second position right here to be able to do your silver epoxies and your adhesives. Okay. Okay. And it's very... And this is a regular um, solder paste one, is it? Correct. This is a regular one right here. Okay. So easy to maintain. Uh, this is three-stage system where you have the solder paste right here mm -hmm. where it comes down through the ejector, ejected out right here, right onto the board. Okay. Um, what about maintenance on these valves? I mean, is there a lot of maintenance? No, that's a good question. Um, no, um, not a lot. I mean, at the end of the day, all you have to do is put this right on, uh, this little sticker right here, and this goes back into the fridge if you need to. Uh, and that's really about it. I was actually in a customer site the other day. The customer had a, a machine for about five years, mm -hmm. and it looked just as clean as this particular machine right here. Because the only time the solder paste is actually exposed is when it's jetted through the ejector onto the board. So it truly is, at the same time, a green machine from an environmental very, very standpoint. Very clean process. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, what, what it, tell us a little bit about what's happening with the um, AOI systems and the uh, automatic programming. So we've been actually going through, and that's one of the biggest areas, to try and reduce the amount of time. So we've actually introduced a lot of features um, to be able to do some auto-teaching of some of the components. Mm -hmm. um, and that's becoming more and more uh, of a benefit for our customers to be able to program these quickly right. um, so you can get product on and off the machine or through the line as quickly as possible. And that's always been our mantra from a standpoint of throughput at the end of the day, shipping as many, as many boards as possible uh, is the main thing. Well, certainly for a, for a high mix environment, that's really important to be able to get through that teaching process quickly. So what sort of cycle times are we looking at? Um, it, well, it really, it's going to vary. Uh, but one thing I will say is on the SPI system that we have, uh, we actually had a gentleman come over, the, uh, which was a current customer, brought it through, and they had a, a you know, it took up about five to 10 minutes to create the program for them. Really? Literally scanning the board and you're, you're ready, ready to go. go. Really? Yep. That's, that's, that's great. That's he was great. very impressed. Right. So I know it's, it's a Productronica year, Jay, um, and you're, I'm sure Micronic, being a European-based company, is going to have some new uh, products coming out at the show. What, can you whet our appetite? 
Uh, we're not standing still. We've been growing substantially, and I'm sure uh, it's going to be a great product, Tronica. Not, not, no new stuff coming out at the show? Uh, I'll be in the director of sales. Uh, uh, if, they, if, if, if they said something, we'd be trying to sell it right now. So, uh, <laughs> uh, no, I, I, uh, we'll, we'll wait for the show. Okay, yes. all right, no problem. So uh, we'll look forward to that. Uh, so, um, and, you know, thank you for catching up with us today. We, I appreciate your time and thank you very much. <laughs>